With the whole church, let us confess our faith. We believe that God is present in the darkness before the dawn, in the waiting and uncertainty where fear and courage join hands, conflict and caring link arms, and the sun rises over barbed wire. We believe in a with us God who sits down in our midst to share our humanity. We affirm a faith that takes us beyond a safe place, into action, into vulnerability. We commit ourselves to work for change and put ourselves on the line, to bear responsibility, take risks, live powerfully, and face humiliation, to stand with those on the edge, to choose life and be used by the Spirit for God's new community of hope. Amen. Let us pray for the church, those in need, and all of creation. Gracious God, teach us the value of joyful service. May we meet the needs of others with a grateful heart, being thankful for all the blessings you have given us. God of mercy, hear our prayer. We hold before God the leaders of all nations, that they may strive for peace and justice within their borders and throughout the world. God of mercy, hear our prayer. We hold before God this amazing planet we call home. May we be faithful stewards of its bounty. God of mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who suffer the ills of body, mind, or spirit, especially Suzanne Bryson, Paul Ownby, Mark Bullock, Adrian Campos, the people of Ukraine, as well as those we name silently in our hearts. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray together. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, all is well. Amen. And now, let us pray in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The church is one foundation. Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he Amen. 
Whenever we feel stressed this week, let us remember one thing. Our to-do list will never get done. Therefore, let us make time this week for dwelling in God's Word, resting our bodies, and loving others more fully through random acts of kindness and selfless acts of service. Amen. Go in peace. Serve in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God.